First things first, this keyboard, I 100% recommend it. I personally love it so far, it's been about two weeks, so let's get into it. So let me start off by saying that I'm not much of a keyboard person. I like mechanical keyboards because they sound cool, and that's about it. So I recently upgraded from my Logitech G13, G613 wireless mechanical keyboard to now a wired keyboard, the RK Luge. Uh, 61 so keep that in mind as you go through the video. I'm not Very tech savvy when it comes to keyboards I just I just have one because it looks pretty and I stick to my controller when I play my games for the most part Now as far as price point goes the keyboard is currently for $50 on Amazon and The weight of it is pretty good. I I guess I don't really have much of a reference to really go off of but it's a decent size, a decent weight keyboard. It doesn't feel very flimsy or cheap. It is a hot swappable keyboard, uh, which means you can change out the switches. I will possibly do that in the future. That was one of the reasons why I picked up the keyboard. If I decide to dabble in that, I uh, actually have that avail available to try to switch out those, key, uh, those switches and find something I like later. For those of you that care, I got the red switches for the keyboard itself. So. We'll go ahead and play the sound test for the keyboard. So that's what the keyboard sounds like. And you may have noticed the keyboard you see there isn't the keyboard you see here now. I ended up changing my keycaps to, see, uh, to some HyperX pudding keycaps. And I changed them out just simply because those look a lot better and they're you know they're meant to show off the RGB a lot more because the light passes through them although I did think well I felt like I heard a difference with these new keycaps compared to the stock ones and I think it's just because these are a little bit higher quality than the uh, stock ones you do get so let's go ahead and play that sound for you guys and you guys be the judge of it Yeah, so you guys be the judge. I don't know. I thought it sounded a little bit different. So there you have it. That's what the new keycaps sound like. And honestly, I think the sound did change a little bit. Not too much, but maybe it's just me. This is what the keyboard looked like stock. And now I'll show you guys also what it looks like currently. So as I mentioned in the beginning, I highly recommend this keyboard if you're just looking for a nice RGB keyboard. Obviously with the upgrades that I did is a little bit different, but I do recommend this to you guys and I'll have it linked down below along with the keycaps if you guys choose to go with the same type of setup that I did. If you guys have any questions or comments for the keyboard, leave it down below and I'll get, and I'll get back to you guys. Thank you for watching the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.